Uh, you may have noticed he just dropped his second special on Amazon Prime. It's called Stepman. Please, ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for the hilarious comedy stylings of Mike E. Winfield. And you're it. <laughs> oh yeah, I love it, look at this. What a loving weekend. I feel it, man, I, I'm feeling love, man. I was in a, I went to a bar last night, right? Me and this other comedian, and in the bar, we see this lady across the way, resting her boobs on the bar. <laughs> Him and I looked at each other like, yo, that's weird, right? He's like, I know, right? Then some woman chimes in. She's like, that's not weird at all. Boobs are heavy. <laughs> okay, look, I didn't know that, but damn, ladies, damn. <laughs> Y'all get away with anything. <laughs> so what, your boobs heavy? That means you can land wherever you want to land? Shit. My balls are heavy, but I can't set them on the edge of the bar. My lower back's been killing me. I've been walking all day. Oh, to get my balls a break. Patron, please. Never mind my balls. I'm just... extravagant plans. Like I was looking at all the IG stories and all the, you know, photos from people's extravagant rich people celebrations for Valentine's Day. I love it because in their pictures, you look at the background. It's like palm trees and ships and castles and stuff. And broke people take pictures too. But you can't see the background because when they take their picture, they put the camera hella close to their face. <laughs> so you can't see the background. You're like, leave your head over. <laughs> what the hell is that? That's Gilroy. <laughs> date night. That's cool, man. I'm all about date night. That's my. That's my shit. Especially when you've been together a long ass time. Cause it's different when you've been together a long time, when you do date night, what you really trying to do is make it through the night without a fight. <laughs> Your whole goal is to make it back to the bedroom so y'all can watch y'all shows together. <laughs> Just 
close my eyes, but I'm not sleeping. <laughs> Because they tell me at the show, so they're like, I got kids. I'm like, okay. <laughs> this lady told me she had a 14 year old. I'm like, that's a good age. <laughs> it is, though. 14 year old, she got a 14 year old. That is a good age. Easy to ditch, you know? <laughs> Y'all, they're like not worldly enough to know what's going on, but they're still young enough. If you drop them off at the mall, they can't drive themselves back. <laughs> man, I knew, man, the mom was so sexy. I was in the grocery store, and his mom, she was pushing her basket. Sexy. <laughs> but look, here's the thing. It wasn't even her appearance. It was what she was putting in the cart. <laughs> she had fruit roll up. <laughs> Muffins and plums. Like she looks like she takes her kid to practice. <laughs> Should have liked the mom to make the after the game snack for the little league and stuff. Woo! I've always loved that mom. When we were younger, we didn't even know her name. We just used to call her Snack Mom. <laughs> children in it, but a lot of your kids suck dick. <laughs> they are not there for the game. They are there for the after the game snack. <laughs> you can tell how happy they are after the game. They're like, we run <laughs> My beans. Like, you know, we lost the game. <laughs> and that's why we need to leave the after the game snack to mom. Like, fathers, we love you, but stay out of it. <laughs> now, seriously, you could tell when dad made the after the game snack. Kids just confused, like, fuck, chili? <laughs> after the game, dad? You know I'm spending the night at Ryan's house, I'm gonna be shitting the whole night. Can you drop me off? I shit at the house first. <laughs> Can't shit at your friend's house. There's no coming back from that. <laughs> Playing off. What were you doing? Breathing. <laughs> and you know, dad is so interesting to me. He's such a weird guy. You know, because no, a lot of children, they don't know the role of their father. So they just think dad is worthless. Because <laughs> they don't know what he does. And if you're a dad, you can tell a good child thinks you're worthless. Because when they come home from school, only see you on the couch, like, where's mama? <laughs> and do you know what where's mama means? It means you're sitting right in front of me, but you're incapable. <laughs> I'm hungry. I need help with my homework. You can't help. <laughs> Last time you helped, they put me back a grade. <laughs> I want to go to my friend's house. <laughs> You're not allowed to give permission. <laughs> You're gonna ask her. <laughs> She's gonna tell you. <laughs> and then you're gonna tell me. <laughs> opportunities. The thing about dad is like, you don't realize kids don't give you a lot of chances. Children are not forgiven. They will not forgive you from that one time you burnt the grilled cheese. <laughs> dad, bread, butter, cheese. <laughs> you handed it to me black. <laughs> Eat this shit right here. <laughs> Lucky to be here. <laughs> That's why mom's so important. That's why I like mom. You know, then you got your cool girl. 
cougars. I love my cougars. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, y'all. Those older women, they don't hide it anymore. They used to hide it. Now they put it on date naps, like looking for a cub. <laughs> You know what's interesting? I like a real cougar. You know you got a real cougar? Cause not only does she like cheetah print, <laughs> she can't get enough of that shit. <laughs> like man, you got the hat and the jacket and the belt and the shoes and the lipstick and the uh, uh. <laughs> You know where the final cougar is if you look and you know where to go, right? Ross or Marshall. <laughs> they love that place. I think it's half off on Thursdays or something. Oh my God, they love that place. <laughs> so look, <laughs> she was at Marshall's today. <laughs> slide it down, block the breeze. I look like everybody at the airport nowadays. <laughs> it's selfish, it is. It's a selfish move, but that's part of premenopause. You know, being selfish. <laughs> it's one of the symptoms. It's like 78 of them. <laughs> I know she's premenopausal because she doesn't finish the argument. We won't finish the fight anymore. What happens is she just shuts down all this quiet, not talking, manipulative stuff. And it's a game. And this is how it goes a game. When we're not talking, she dresses in her sexy, tight stuff, everything I love the most. And now she always has somewhere to go alone. <laughs> Never fails either. She's, like, she's walking out like, wait, where are you going? She's out. <laughs> But see, here's the thing. I didn't used to know where out was. I know now. It's Ross or Marshall's. <laughs> so, so now that I know where she's going to be, now I can play along. I'm like, you don't have to do this. 
Because look, I get it, ladies. I know what you, you just want a guy that cares. That's the bottom line of all of this. You want a guy that loves you and cares, and I ain't an asshole. I care, just not on an emotional level. You know? <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not gonna cry about it. And she loves it when you cry, man. I think it's the transparency of, like, emotions. I think she just likes that. You just can't overdo it. Like, if you're a guy, you, make, you gotta make that cry count when you do it. It gotta be an emergency. You can't cry like every week or she'll be like, bitch. <laughs> so you gotta stretch it out so you make sure it counts. Like, it has to be that time where she's like, is she packing? Is that what? She's leaving me? Oh shit. <laughs> Bullshit. It's not bullshit at all. Okay. 